welcome welcome to my channel today i'm reacting to the one and only kendra g and we have a fun episode for you today because today we have lola and she will be showing you guys exactly what you have to expect out there without further ado let's get it started welcome in lola to the stage okay um lola girl you've been talking all night show me the room lola show me the room all right there we go oh i got you ready i'm ready i've been seeing your name was did you try on different platforms I did try on uh, Instagram, but you've seen me before. You've oh, talked you to before. me before. Okay. No, you talked to me with my son. His name is Latif. What did I talk to you at? At your house. Oh, Dre. <laughs> you call him Latif. I call him Dre. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, okay. I was like, Latif. I don't know Latif. Hi. And each so time are you, I'm... you're his mother? Yes. Okay, yes, he told me a lot about you. Let me take a picture and talk. Girl, did he know you on this show, girl? I called him and told him to tell you I was coming on. He said no. Oh, my God. I'm going to text him and tell him. <laughs> no, I know your son very well. When you said yeah. Latif, it threw me off because I don't call him Latif. I call him Dre. Okay. Um, all right, you ready, Mama? I'm ready. All right, what? literally, Mama. What's the name? Lola. Lola. Lola you are, so you live in Texas, right? I live in Houston. I moved okay. from Dallas to Houston. Okay. How old are you, Lola? 56. Okay, 56. Do you have any kids? Is Dre your only child? No. it's I've got Asia. So I have uh, two boys, which is including him and my daughter, Asia. So Lola here is 56 years old. And she has three kids, apparently all grown. But guys, we're going to get into this one. This one is going to be fun. Trust me. You don't want to miss out. So let's go. Okay, what are the ages? They are 31, 36, and then he's 40. One and he's like my, he's not my, yeah, my, I know he's not your biological son, yeah, I know that he's not your biological <laughs> son, okay. So, Lola Houston, what do you do for a living? I'm a teacher, teacher, and what's your zodiac sign? I'm a cancer, a cancer, all right. So, we got Lola Houston, 56, cancer, is a teacher, mom, two, three, but one, two biological, correct? Yeah, um, have you ever been married? I have, I'm divorced. Okay. Are both of your biological kids by the same man? They are not. They're not. Okay. All right. Was you married to one of their fathers? No. No. Okay. So you had kids by two men, but then you married somebody else. I did. Okay. When did you get divorced? <laughs> so, guys, I hope you're taking notes. And this is your savior speaking. I hope you're taking notes. The man who gave her the ultimate respect, the ultimate, the highest position you can put a woman in your life is to make her your wife. And he didn't get a child out of it. However, two guys that she did not require a ring and a commitment from got kids out of her. And that's two separate guys. However, it gets better. So let's continue. Of course. Uh, most recent, and I don't want to say when, but it was very recent. Is it officially divorced? Oh, very much so. Yeah. Okay, officially divorced. All right, Lola. So Lola Houston, 56. She's a cancer mom to three, two biological. Married once is divorced. What kind of man are you looking for now? You just got you already ready, girl. So I am looking for 
We all say God fearing, and I do want him to believe in God. He needs to be a mature man, <laughs> one with some values. I am. He has to be a six figure man. That's all I'm used to, and that's I'm not taking anything less than that. That is all that I'm used to. Um, technically. I prefer a Nigerian man because that's what I have had. So I've been accustomed to a few things. So you had this man. Why did you leave the man that had this? Because he he's deceased. That's oh. why. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, I pride too much. I didn't okay, know. Okay. Thank you, Kendra. Okay. This was the man you were married to. No. Oh, well, this... I was married to him, but he he passed away, and then I got remarried. Oh, so you've been married twice. Mm-hmm. Oh, I thought you've been married once. Okay. So, first we heard she was married once, and now we're hearing she's been married twice. Now, more confusion to come, guys. Don't you step away just yet. It gets better. I assure you. <laughs> Did the second guy have all those things? Was he not uh, Absolutely. He did. Okay, so don't play with her. Six figures, so no, at least hundred K. I mean that. Low love, he made eighty five K. You couldn't do it. If he has a grown adult child, yes. If not, no. Okay. Woo, child, see, girl, I you bring to get your mama. Okay. <laughs> All right, so what else? I don't want to interfere. So Nigerian, six figures, what else? Well, he could be American too, but oh, I'm okay. just saying. Um, he would have to have six figures. He's definitely got to have some morals. He needs to like like to travel because I like to travel. I need you to have a passport. At, at my age, you should have one. Um. He needs to, to be deal educated. Breakers? Uh, deal breakers are heavy drinkers. I can do social. I really don't like a man that smokes. You know, that's not my deal. He needs to have his teeth in order. I want you to either have some in there or the ones you have need to be in great shape. He needs to be at least healthy. He doesn't have to be, you know, uh, we're not 25 anymore, so... I don't expect him to be just where he's muscled up and buff, but know that he cares about his self and his hygiene, his appearance. Uh, that's real important. Okay. Um, should he look a certain way? Well, I like tart, tall and dark. Good teeth. <laughs> Smell good. What's the age have... range you would date, Lola? You're 56. So, looks like, Kendra, let me tell you, I have been attracting from 40 to, let's see, 57 uh, here recently. I'm doing good in these Houston streets if I just want to keep it out there. But I said as soon as I could, I was going to get on your show and see what happens. Um, but I'll take from... Now, I need to be able to have a conversation with you. So let's say 50, <laughs> 53 to, I don't want them too old, to 60 because I'm 56. So 53 to 60, 50. You know what's amazing? What's amazing is the requirements from a 56 year old don't sound any different than the requirements of the average 27 year old. She is requiring the same thing of men that those delusional women that normally visit the Fresh and Fit podcast. This is just funny. And when we say women are ultimately all the same, we 
get called all these negative things. However, women are more alike than they are different. And the more they try to show you, the more they try to convince you that they are different from every other woman is the more they are proving just how alike they are. At this point, I'm saying, if I am 60 years old, an accomplished man who has worked my life to get to where I'm at, why would I choose this one? What makes her stand out? I haven't seen the qualities, the feminine qualities that I desire as yet. However, I am seeing some qualities that would inevitably disqualify her. But let's continue. You said 50, say the age again? 53 to 60. Okay. And should he be in Houston? No, he doesn't have to be in Houston. Preferably, okay. it would be nice, but... We got to the money question early. You got to make at least six figures. You do. Lola says she is standing on business. With I'm standing on it. And I, I mean, you know my show, so you already know what they're going to say in the comments. I don't care about what the cousins think. They should want their mother, aunt, sister, Amy, whatever they call it, to say the same thing I'm saying. I don't care about the comments. He needs to make six figures. No less than that 99.999. We want the whole six figures. <laughs> and when we speak about reflective thinking, that process where you look within and you try to assess yourself and you see what's my value, what do I deserve? Here's a challenging thing. It is nice to put all these garbage statements out into the air. However, how do you feel when someone, and not the average guy, that specific guy that you are looking for, when he starts to hold you to the same standards not willing to budge an inch on your demands how does that make you feel because if you are willing to make these demands be sure and expect and accept the person you see as that perfect guy Expect him to also judge you as harshly as you are judging everyone else. This is getting fun, but it ain't done yet. We got some more craziness to look into, so let's go. Let me get Asia hold this camera so she can see. Let me go. Let me come out. Let's say, yeah, you're on. Um, Layla, Lola, Lola, Lola. Hey, where am I going? Lola said, baby. <laughs> okay, Lola. Wait, put the camera on her. Not on you, boo. Put it on Lola. Okay, we see you, mama. All right, with the G shorts. Oh, you turn around on. Woo, child. Um, Lola, you know you got some paid questions. Do you want them? Oh, God. <laughs> y'all go ahead on and pay Kendra because I'm still going for what I said I don't care <laughs> okay Dame Dennis said do you know that less than 1% of Nigerian men make 100k I don't know where you get yours from baby but I know for certain <laughs> I know for sure <laughs> what oh I don't know where you get yours and, and my tribe is Yoruba 
<laughs> I hear you. <laughs> well, what? Now, pardon me for interrupting once again. However, it's amazing that women who make these six-figure incomes still desire, pursue, and demand men who make more. There is a term that's generally used. It's called hypergamy. She is not willing and she is 100% proof of that. She is not willing to budge on anything. If dude is 100% perfect and brings everything she needs to the table, however, he only makes 80 or 90 thousand dollars per year that's a hard no for her this cinderella land that so many women live in i love it i love it and you know the fun thing is it's these women out here who are dying for relationships not the men if you take for example Miss Kendra G's show, it is 80% to 90% of the time. It's the women who come here bawling that they can't find men. What does that say? That states that men, we're fine. We are fine. And the interesting thing is, Men don't seem to be giving these ladies relationships. However, I can guarantee that there is a homeboy out there smashing the knockers off this 55-year-old. Let's go. I'm happy with this man you're thinking of right now, Lola. Because he's deceased. Oh, okay, he's deceased. Okay, so I would have never been on your show except to say hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Lola has had this man that she's describing. So for all those paying, and he passed away. That's the only reason why she's here today. Uh, let me read this before I bring it. Okay. With all due respect, I can't get a much better deal than what I see on the screen. I'm speaking from the perspective of a six-figure brother. Well, honey, if you can get a better look than what you see right here, you shouldn't be watching. You just shouldn't be here. <laughs> Your person should be wherever they are, and I'm right here. <laughs> Y'all gonna learn today. Y'all gonna learn today. Y'all better listen. Lola said, why, 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 why you here then? Right. Don't Why waste you? time with Lola. Move on. Move on. Boo. And, and boo. Okay. When was your last relationship, boo? <laughs> it was um February of this year. February of this year. Okay. February of this year. Um. You're 56. What's the age range? You? Oh, you already told me. Um, you don't have to answer, but I'm gonna ask. When's the um, last time you was intimate with somebody? I'm not answering that, Kendra. Don't worry. Three I got a bunch of kids watching, no telling. Okay, three <laughs> flaws you have to work on. So, my patience is one of them. See, like that person you had talking would be a waste of my time, my conversation, and my energy at all. I don't have time for that. Um, so, I need to work on my patience, my mouth can be lethal too. And I should work a little bit more on my time management. Okay, time management. Well, it's good to know that you realize you got to work on your mouth. However, you need to understand that what you take so lightly 
is one of the most important factors men look to when choosing for women. Your mouth is one of the things that disqualify you from this perfect guy you want. But keep on going. It's not done just yet. Let's go. Alright, um, ooh, child, the, the questions are coming in for you. They get ready to tell me off on there? I don't know. This is a positive. The Honda Wait a minute, said, Auntie. He said, that's right, Auntie. You demand your worth. If a man get angry about your requirements, then clearly you wasn't talking about them. Demand your bag. Demanding okay. it. Alright. Caribbean Beauty said, it's really not hard finding a man that makes six figures. Um, let's not forget black women are out earning y'all. And that's yeah. right. Okay. Coffee Killer said, every woman tonight has asked for a dark man making six figures. What will set you apart from the other women? Now, this question right here is the icing on the cake. You are making demands. The man that you are asking for is set apart from just about every other guy. In return, what makes you unique? And you are not allowed to say, being me makes me unique. You are not allowed to say, my presence or anything that is generic. That makes you not unique that makes you just another one of them no different but let's listen to her try to gaslight men continue just what you see right now let me tell you i'm not in competition with no one <laughs> i am her i am she i lola I'm not in competition with any woman. I don't have to set myself apart from him because there's so many beautiful women out here. And so he's going to know when he sees me if this is what you want. And if it's not, I'm okay with that too. Mm. What? Yeah. What? Okay, okay. <laughs> based on, based on said, did delusional manifest in a person? Yeah, it, if that's what you want to say, love. If delusional is you. <laughs> then that's okay. Maybe it did manifest over there at your house. My house is reality. <laughs> it's reality I don't know why here. playing with Lola like he, Th they like still he got not play with bag. Lola because Lola brings it to the table. She brings her own bag to the table, and I'm gonna have an additional bag if I'm gonna have somebody side by side. If not, I can walk alone and be alone. I'll be fine. Ooh, I didn't even ask you. So you obviously make six figures. Mm hmm. Okay. Um, I hope you all didn't let that part slide. What she says is what women have been saying since day one. My money, my money. Your money, my money. What she said was she has her bag. And when you come in, she is now going to have two bags. Once again, what you get is not important. Her bag isn't your bag. Her bag isn't for the family which you are now building together. Her bag remains her bag. And your bag becomes her bag. You got to listen keenly, fellas. Don't let these word tricks slide past you. Divine Photo says, you, you can want what you want, but would that six-figure man choose an older woman when he would want a younger version of you. Baby, let me tell you, it's nothing younger than me that's going to be better than me. I'm going to tell you that right now. Now, I'm looking casual and okay for, for today, but I think I'm I'm pretty good. 
I'm just going to tell you, I come to the table with my own things. I don't have to have someone just here to take care of me. I can take care of myself. And when I buy my things, I buy them cash. I don't have the note to tote with it. <laughs> just know that. Okay. <laughs> this is going to be the last one. This is going to be the last question. Don't nobody else pay no more questions. Um, Al Double I said, you good for a good <laughs> retired bus driver or school teacher? Respectfully, Ashley. Someone going to treat you right and respect you, and I ain't even trying to be funny. Well, let me tell you something, baby. You made it wrong when you said the retired bus driver, unless he owns the bus company itself. <laughs> he won't be driving Lola. That's for sure. <laughs> Loved it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my you guys also have to remember this is a woman who has had this man and you said you had him twice. Every time, Kendra. It's even in my younger years, I, I required that. So I'm not dating a bum. I'm not dating breath and pants. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. I don't have to. Okay, this is he is a Isn't it interesting how you've always had this man? However, here you are on social media trying to search for this man. I call it Cap. I can sense passed around, used up, beaten out, brakes beaten off for multiple years. I'm not denying that she may have somehow gotten herself to a bag. However, this getting this guy at all times, I call Cap. She ain't all that. She's not a looker. She's feisty, spicy. Most men don't like that. Yeah. Let's go. I spent twenty dollars, child. Let me just see what twenty. He really wanna tell me off. Right Wayne da Wayne Dad said women already have unlimited access to average men. That's why they come on looking for above average. I get it. Did you hear me talking, sweetheart? You should have known. He, yeah, no, he's still trying to shade it, Asia, a little bit. No, no, hold on. I have always had an above average man. Always. Even as a little girl, 14, and in high school, I still had the, the top football player to everybody. You got the wrong person. This auntie, cousin, Lola, whatever you want to call me, is not going for that. I'm sorry. Okay, no more questions for Lola. Right, Y'all are going to pay Kendra to death today. <laughs> Mom, did I ask you three flaws you have to work on? Yes, you asked me. Okay, so the last question is, why would a guy be lucky to be with you, Lola? <laughs> well, I've got a great personality. I am... I can really love you if you are coming correctly. I can do that. I can be an asset to you. I'm not going to be someone that you got to come in and start paying bills for auntie because she can't handle her own. She, I've got my own. Um, I'm a helpmate. I can cook. I can do all those average things that, you know, women are supposed to be able to do. I hope the ones that we're talking can cook because, you know, you're going to need to do that. And <laughs> I can be supportive. And she can be supportive. All right, Lola, are you on the Kendra G Singles dating app? Well, my daughter's signing me up. She's signing you up? Okay. She Ooh, is. Child, let me see if Lola is taken. Do you have a nickname? <laughs> okay, no, Lola is taken. I want you, okay, tell your daughter for the username, put your username, Lola Six Figures. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Because right now there's a couple of Lola, so we gotta separate. Lola them. six figure is so great. So make so make the username Lola the number six figures. Okay. Lola ain't playing no games with y'all. Lola um, ain't playing. Um. Okay. This one is this is not really that harsh, but LL Cool K 
said, some people don't need six figures to live a great life. Also, how would you know how much he makes? Because I'm going to, we're going to talk about that. I'm not wasting time with you. You need to be able to tell me, I'm just not going to waste time. I'm at the age, I don't have to, you know, sugar, uh, let me, I, I don't have to sugarcoat anything. When we, if we get to that point where, you know, I want to find out, I'm going to know. I, it won't take me 30 days and, and 45 days or whatever you guys do. I'm asking, and I need to know your credit score. You know, we both can pull ours. You pull yours, I'll pull mine. I need to know. Lola said, don't play with it. Don't, don't play, play with, with it. it. Right. Lola, I enjoyed you. I'm about to, let me see if Dre is going to answer the phone, child. He probably will because he I just him, answered he for to me. He said, oh, my God. I'm going to tell, tell him he's on speak. I'm about to say, you're going to. Wait, first I'll put him on the phone. Yeah. Wait, hold on. I, I don't want to just put him without him knowing. Okay, I, I'm gonna put you on speakerphone, and you're gonna be on my show. Okay. All right. Um, Dre, come get your mama. She ain't playing no games. She said he gotta make six figures, and that's it. My baby. <laughs> my baby. Dre, she came in right. Dre, she ran everybody down to the ground. And and here comes Mr. Son Husband, who has been uplifting old ma here throughout her life and uh, helping her with all these delusions. Welcome, Son Husband. Let them know that if he don't make six figures, he ain't playing no games. Thank you. I was on Mr. Michael was Nigerian. That's my mama, dude. I know. <laughs> Thank okay, you. Look, look, her son has conf confirmed she's used to Nigeria for 20 years, so you got to have the money. All right, Thank I'll, me. I'll, I'll call you later. Stamp on it. All right, look. All right, Lola, girl. Put you a stamp on, on it, girl, baby. Girl. All right, bye, baby. Bye. Wait, did y'all still ask No, we, we done with Lola questions. Nothing much here to add, guys. This was fun. I hope we didn't trigger anyone. We must understand that women will come with their demands and they can demand whatever they want. At the end of the day, the onus and the responsibility is in, is on us as men ultimately to make that choice. What choice am I talking about? The choice is to give them relationships because this is what they desire. Many times we as men can get sex, which is what most of us desire most of the time without fulfilling all these so-called requirements. These requirements for them, they think make them more appealing. They think it makes them more attractive. However, the exact opposite is true. They still remain in the boundaries of recreational use only. This is where a lot of them reside for the vast majority of their lives. Her requirements here is like a bomb saying, I demand to have a world-class model as my wife.
It's like a homeless guy saying, I demand to have a superstar woman be mother of my kids. Whereas it is not impossible, it is highly, and I mean highly, improbable. In her case, what she requires is not impossible. But for that man that she has now seen as worthy to give her relationship, it's highly, highly, highly unlikely. But he will still smash and he would have gotten what he initially wants from her that smash but let's go thank you so much guys for tuning in to this one look out <laughs>